She is in the house and it's all about saying happy th Thursday first and foremost. We are tightening the bums and tums. In fact, Sheena, welcome well, welcome to the show. Thank you very And much. ladies, welcome to... We're going to get straight into it and I believe this morning, first off, we're going to kick off with the bums. Yeah. So when I think bums, I just think squats and squats and squats. How are we changing it up? Yeah, so no, squat is correct. <laughs> you know, we always don't have the squatting. So we're going to add squat and a little bit extra. So the first thing we'll do is warm up with the squat, just to warm up your legs. So remember, feet shoulder width apart, opening up your toe box, pushing the pelvis back, driving the knees out, lifting up and coming back to the top. So if you're in the workout, squeeze your glutes, make sure your weight stays into your heels as you're going down. You'll see with the ladies, chest is nice and up, squeezing the glutes and locking out. Once you've done 10 of those, you'll go straight into the next exercise, which is now we're going to focus on the deadlift with the kettlebell. So from here, it's a bit different. Like you were saying before, we're not going to do a straight deadlift today. We're going to slightly bend the knees so that we really get into the glutes. So again, feet shoulder widths apart, knees out. We want to drop down, keep the back nice and straight, tummy nice and tight. Grab the kettlebell from there, squeeze your glutes and lock out all the way up. Keep the arms nice and straight, touch the ground, squeeze the glutes. Lock out all the way up. And you can feel when your pelvis goes slightly back, you even feel it a bit in the hamstring. Yes. And you can change the weight as you like. You can go a bit heavier, keep it light. Remember, we want to do it as quickly as possible. After those 10, we're going to go into the kettlebell swing. And I like this because it works your glutes, works the abs as well. So from here, again, just taking your pelvis slightly back. This is very important. You want to squeeze your glutes and drive your hips through really quickly. So from here, squeeze the glutes, drive the hips through, lock out at the top. All the way back down squeeze the glutes drive through the minute you get to the bottom pop it up as quickly as possible you don't want to spend too much time at the bottom of the of the kettlebell swing okay i really do like working out with the kettlebell it really adds a different feel to it yeah I, I love the kettlebell it's one of my workout. favorite pieces of equipment so from there again we're going to complete 10 of those from that we're going to take the kettlebell turn it upside down and this is what we call a goblet squat so we want to have it at, we want to have it at the chest. From here, elbows slightly out, and then from there, we want to sit down into our squat. So now we're just adding a little bit of extra weight so that we help the glutes work even more. From there, we're going to go into 10 air squat, I mean 10 goblet squats. Once your 10 goblet squats are complete, we're going to end off with, of course, the lunges. Okay. And that's just the last one to really get into the glutes. Take a step back, make sure you first plant your foot on the ground before you drop your knee down. From there, pop it right up. Alternate the feet. Drop, drop. Pop the knee to the ground and pop up. Okay, and alternate. Squeeze the glute and back up. And then you want to do 10 of those. After that, a one minute break, four rounds. Four rounds yeah. of all of that. Well, thank you so much, Sheena, for showing Pleasure. us how to do that. And the great thing is, this is a workout you can do at home as well. Just get some, some heavy weight, milk, uh, milk carton. Exactly. And you can really have a great bum to speak of. Well, it's now time for us to replenish the body and move on over to an antioxidant smoothie with Ewan.